All right, there's been uh, there's been a lot of stuff on the forums and everything like that about uh, keeping your firearms safe, keeping them locked up, keeping them unloaded with your ammo separate from the firearms. Um, that's all fine and dandy, but that's a lot like keeping your vehicle empty without without any fuel in it. Uh, it doesn't do you any good. When you hear that door come crashing down at three in the morning and your firearm is locked and your ammo is locked separately from that firearm, um, you've got a problem that that needs some, some quick remedial action. Um, a lot of people are worried about their children being around guns, um, about, uh, about accidents happening and stuff like that. Um, James and I, and Wick as well, we were all raised around firearms. Um, I don't know that there was a firearm in every corner of my house that was probably loaded, but uh, there was a firearm in, in probably most of them, under most of the beds and so on and so forth. But my father went to the trouble of taking time out of his schedule to educate myself and my siblings about what firearms are capable of and and uh, the need to be to be safe around them, how to handle them safely. Um, what about you, Wick? Yeah, I'm working on the same thing on that. Uh, the way I was raised, there was there was a gun in every corner almost, and if it was loaded, but I knew better mm -hmm. because my father would actually take me out, take the time to actually show me what was going on, and then that's where I grew my interest off it, mm -hmm. and uh, because of that, I became more knowledgeable. Did the same thing with my daughter. But then with her being around more or uh, around the house, all I know is I have, all I have to do is just pretty much do a half load on the firearms and I can leave them pretty much in general areas where I know that I need them and without her even being able to hurt herself because she can't pull a 20 pound slide on a 45 or a 1911 back. Mm -hmm. And there's sure as hell no way she's gonna be able to operate a uh, pump action shotgun and figure out that this is what she has to do to get it to work. So. I am very confident in my level, my knowledge, and my firearms, and the abilities and confidence of teaching my daughter. Yeah. And it all, I mean, kids are naturally curious. Kids are very naturally curious about firearms, about anything, really. And if you give them the correct education, and you eliminate that curiosity, um, if you make the gun... Um, a taboo a, item. A taboo, yeah. yeah, a taboo item or a restricted item or a forbidden subject, it's going to naturally pique their curiosity. They're going to try to seek it out. They're going to try to mess with it. But if instead you make it accessible, anytime my kids want to look at a gun, all they have to do is ask. Hey, Dad, can I, can I look at your gun? Sure. What's the number one rule? And they can recite back to me the rules before they even touch the firearm. And so that way it's not, they're not sneaking behind my back. They don't feel that they need to... Um, you know, get into trouble with it. They can be open and um, they can be open and safe with it. The last thing you really want to do is actually yell at them and scare the hell yes. out of them. Yeah. So that now it's something that they're going to be definitely afraid of. Make sure that they're actually aware of it, they're fr you're friendly to it, and that there's nothing bad with it. Because yeah. once they're scared, you're pretty much done and over with yeah. in ways. It boils down to it, it being a tool like anything else. If you had a bandsaw in your garage or whatever, there, there are dangerous things, but with education, with the proper training, anybody can be safe around them, even children. So educate your kids. All right, so if you like this discussion, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment. Um, and again, if you disagree, go ahead, leave us a comment. We'll get a discussion going. But uh, first and foremost, make sure you educate your kids and uh, do the right thing. Be a positive role model.